So we're here at Siloan at IFA 2012. So you're showing uh, like the whole history of Siloan, right? Right, right. Let me start with the CL 850. This came out back in 2006, which was Siloan's manufacturing practice type of yeah. product. Um, and a few years later, we came out with the Magic Q. That was kind of like the beginning of it, right? That's the beginning of it. So we were more of a engineer-focused company, but we needed to find a way to mass produce a real product. So that's what this product is, the CO 850. So how many do you sell of this? Is that a secret? We, uh, we didn't sell too much because we didn't really have a sales force at the time. Yeah. Right. Uh, we were just wanted to make sure we can mass produce such products. Okay. So this has been mass produced. Like, uh, it was tens of thousands? Or tens of thousands, right, right, right. Not hundreds of thousands. Not, not hundreds of thousands, no. Not, not millions yet. Yeah. Because so, back in 2006, the mobile device market wasn't mainstream. So you only had PDAs you can work with. At the same time, you needed five different, six different drivers for every single operating system. But nowadays, it's been consolidated down to only about three, right? You have Android, iOS, and as well as Windows. But th does this one work with Android? No, it will not. So what does it work with? This works with older phones and, and devices that came out back in 2006. It doesn't work with the uh, iPhone or Android? No, it won't work with that. The hardware doesn't support it. Okay. Right? But this one here, the Magic Q, which came out after the CL850, yeah. is um, shorter in height and much thinner. So uh, this came like a couple years? So th we started mass production uh, exactly a year ago. Yeah. And we've been sold out every month since production. Every month? Every month. So where do you sell this? We sell this online and in Harper markets, in selected markets. In Europe, we're selling it in uh, UK, Poland, Netherlands, and a little bit into Italy. And next, starting next month, we'll have uh, finally a German layout available. Okay. So we'll start germ uh, shipping into Germany in about a month or two. Okay. And what's going on here? So this is uh, something that's in our uh, future roadmap. The Magic Q will eventually become this slim. So you can see the progress that we're making from this product back in 2006, yeah. this product here about a year ago, to what's soon to be coming um, in about, I would say, six months. Six months. So yeah. what are you going to call this slim? Uh, we, we don't know yet. This is just a mock-up sample. Um, okay. But we have the te technology to get it down to this size now. Is it open here? No, this is just a prototype, right? So it won't work. Is the battery not going to be shorter than this? No. It, Surprisingly, we're actually going to use a bigger battery in here. So you're going to have a lighter weight, smaller form factor, and a longer lasting battery. Interesting. And it's still going to be laser? Yeah, it's going to be laser. The keyboard? And what goes on with this one? So this one is a conceptual product. Um, you have a projection keyboard built in into a high capacity extended battery. So you can use it as a keyboard. Yeah. Or if you need to charge your mobile devices, uh, anything with USB, you can charge it with this product. All right. And you have a small dock right here. Uh, this is just a conceptual product. But it's a magnet on the bottom here, so it snaps right in. And you can lay it down like this as a, as a stand. Or you can take it out and use it on the side like this. Again, this is just a conceptual product. But eventually, this is the... the the direction we're moving into. Could you explain how many? Uh, could you say how many you sell? Yeah, yeah. Is it hundreds of thousand now? No, so far we have shipped about forty thousand units yeah. of everything of this product here. Yeah. And different colors. Well, right now it's available in white, silver, and black. Um, these models here are just shown for display purposes. So, do you guarantee that the keyboard is as fast as the full real keyboard, or how do you? What do you say? You know, that, that's that's not our approach. We're not necessarily here to replace a traditional keyboard but to provide a more innovative and fun way to type on your mobile devices uh, instead of a regular touch screen. So this technology was um, invented like six years ago and it's being improved, right? Yes, yes. So, so how has it improved here? Is it more accurate now? or It's more accurate. Um, the sensing technology is much better. It's been improved. And the, actual, the, 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 hardest, here? Yeah, the hardest part of this technology is getting the sizes down because when, you look, when, you, when you're working with optics, everything has to do with peripheral vision. The lower you get, the smaller you see, the less you see, right? So if you were to be, if you were, if you were to put your head down and look, you know, onto yeah. the surface, you, you can only see this much as opposed to a lot more when you're in a higher height. 
So that's where the technology is really involved. As it gets smaller, it's harder to actually detect more surfaces and detect it accurately. And what's the target price for something like this? Okay. Don't hold me to this, but we're what hoping you to hope bring this to? down to 99 euros. 99 euros. We hope to bring it down to 99 euros. And you hope to bring it on the market next year? Uh, middle of next year. Middle of next year. Yeah. Yeah. And how about this? This one here, we don't know yet. We have not made any plans for this. And today, this is on the market for 139, right? 139 euros. It depends between 39 and 49. Yeah, yeah.